Delighted with the result. Um, she's she's in a good place at the moment and doing well, and, and everybody seems very happy with her. Um, uh, Jamie is happy, and Brian who, who rides her every day, and um, so uh, everyone is, seems to be happy with her. Gary, really. And there was a lot of talk after the York race about Tegruda running below par, which I suppose is fair enough. But do you think that was maybe doing Tapestry a bit of a disservice? It was a fair performance. They were a long way clear. Of the ah, third. yeah, we were very happy with her going there, Gary, and obviously we were very happy with her run. Um, listen, I, I think it was a nice, evenly run race, and um, um, they quickened down the straight well, and and um, I know we were delighted with her, really. Uh, listen, Ryan gave her a great ride. She's got lots of big race entries out and she's even in the matron on our Champions Weekend, but would you be keen to maybe keep her to a mile and a half? Yeah, I, I suppose, Gary, she's another few races. Um, we probably wouldn't like to travel her again for her next start, so it's very possible that she'll stay at home and it's very possible that she'll run in the matron. Like we'd, we'd probably rather stay at home and, and maybe not go a mile and a half again and she can step up and trip again after that, so she'd have obviously an option arc weekend after that or she'd have an option miss that and go to America. So it, there's a big chance that she'll stay at home and, and go to the matron. So a drop-in trip for the matron stakes on the agenda for Tapestry. Well, we also got news on some of the older horses in the stable. Now, we've seen Magician most recently finishing second in the Arlington Million. But we start with a word on the Derby winner, Ruler of the World. Not seen since Maidan earlier in the year. We had him ready to run in the coronation and we were very happy with him um, and just tweaked the muscle in, in, his, in his side um, before so he had to get a nice break after that but he's, he's back and has been away and uh, um, has uh, worked nicely last day he was away so it's very possible that he'll start in the five with the view to maybe if everything goes well going back to the arc but I'm uh, very happy with where we are with him at the moment Gary. And where does Magician fit into all of this, Aidan? Have you got a, a plan mapped out for him? Yeah, he's back in, in, in full work and back from America. He's in good shape. He's, he's uh, um, Obviously, he's in the Irish champion in all those races. Um, so um, he's back and he's building up the Irish champions weekend. And obviously, if he doesn't run, he'll, he'll go away for a work and then come back again. But it, I suppose we've one eye on, on the Breeders' Cup uh, Turf Classic with him. And uh, that's where he could finish up at the, at the end of the year. And we'll see what he does in between then. Now, another horse who we haven't seen for a long while is last year's Oaks winner, Chiquita. She was trained by Alain Duroyer Dupre at that uh, stage, but was bought in a dispersal sale at Goths for a price of £6 million. She's now with Aidan O'Brien. Let's find out where we might expect to see her next. Hopefully the plan is to start her at the car end, the mile and a quarter Phillies race. Uh, she's, everything has been going well so far and uh, um, hopefully start her there and, and then go from there. But um, so far so good with her. And is there a long term target for her Aidan? Would you have an eye on the arc maybe if all went well? Yeah, I think we'd start at Gary and obviously then arc weekend is, is, is she has the Phillies race or the arc. Um, so I suppose we'll get her started first and see how that goes and then uh, um, that lads will pick a race after that really.